the evening. Eight security guards had to restrain a murderer who jumped from the dock at Lewis Crown Court this afternoon after hearing that he'd been found guilty. Christopher Hunnisett killed supermarket worker Peter Bick with a hammer after meeting him for sex in Bexhill. Honeyset had claimed his victim was a paedophile, but the jury heard there was no evidence to support that claim. Tonight, Mr Bick's family said Honeyset was a horrid, evil animal who'd acted judge as judge, jury and executioner. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Colin Campbell, reports. Saying nothing to police in interviews, Christopher Honeyset said he was on a mission to stop and expose paedophiles. Days before committing murder, this is the 28-year-old arriving at Bexhill Station, where he was to meet victim Peter Bick for the first time. Honeyset believed the 57-year-old supermarket worker was a sex offender, but today a jury decided his so-called mission and claims were all lies. He had obviously been my brother's torturer, judge, jury and executioner, all in one, and what a horrid, evil animal. Honeyset went on to websites using aliases like Candy Girl and Golden Boy, he said to try to trap paedophiles. He created a hit list of individuals he believed were paedophiles or sex offenders. Peter Bick's name was at the top of one list. He bludgeoned him to death in his bedroom using a hammer. Both men were naked. Peter Bick had been tied up. Honeyset said his reason for coming here was to interrogate Peter Bick and to get him to confess on video to being a paedophile. He said he'd heard a rumour that Peter Bick was a sex offender and feared that he was going to drug and sexually abuse a 16-year-old boy. Described in court as a promiscuous homosexual, there was, however, no evidence Peter Bick was a sex offender. What exactly was motivating Honeyset in the lead-up to the murder and afterwards we will perhaps never know. But there is no doubt that all of society is safer now he's in prison. Heavily tattooed with symbols he claimed related to his mission, it's feared Christopher Honeyset planned to kill others. He was spotted driving to Paddock Wood after murdering Peter Bick to the home of another he believed was a sex offender. After handing himself in, police found a survival kit, knives and other weapons in bags in the car. This was Christopher Honeyset's third murder trial. At the age of 15, he went to live with Reverend Ronald Glazebrook, a paedophile with a history of misconduct. In 2002, he was convicted of his murder and sent to prison for nine years. But in 2010, he was acquitted of any wrongdoing after revealing he had been abused by Glazebrook. I'd How prefer not to comment, thank you. At the time, he walked from court a free man. A victim of abuse turned murderer. He is again facing a life sentence. Colin Campbell reporting. He joins us live from Lewis now. And Colin, there was real drama in the court when the murder verdict was announced. Yes, extraordinary and upsetting scenes. At the very moment that unanimous guilty verdict was announced by the foreman of the jury, Christopher Honeyset leapt from the dock. His face was contorted. He was angry and clearly in a very aggressive frame of mind. He shouted out very loudly, every word I said was the truth, every word, before being restrained very quickly by eight security guards from the prison service. They grabbed Christopher Honeyset and they dragged him back into the dock. They then took him below to the cells where he could be heard uh, sobbing. At this moment, moment the, uh, the judge chose to adjourn the sentencing in courtroom number one at Lewis Crown Court over fears for safety and security. Christopher Honeyset will now be sentenced at a more secure court, Woolwich Crown Court, on the 22nd of May for the murder of uh, Christopher Bick. Colin, thank you. Peter Bick.